James, it's your turn, bro. And boys and girls, I'm proud to bring you the very first of its kind. A multi-pill, multi-bank, 50-volt transistor box. Now, we're going to talk about a couple different things here real quick. You can't compare apples to apples. It's more like bricks to bars of gold. Several people say to me, the cost, oh my god, it's so expensive. Is it really? This amplifier right here produces the same amount of power as a 16 pill. Okay, unvolted 16 pill, 4,000 watts. If you want to buy a 16 pill with a power supply so you can run it at your house, this is much, much cheaper. You cannot compare an 8 pill box, 2879, to an 8 pill one of these. Impossible. 2879 being a brick, these being bars of gold. This thing is sick. I've had a lot of fun building this. This has been uh, six and a half months in the planning. The customer has been waiting seven months for me to be able to get to where I can build it. I'm that busy, folks. I am seven to nine months behind. And that number slowly keeps growing and growing, and I keep putting out more and more amps. I want to take a minute and thank EPD for their wonderful products that they produce. Um, we're going to make some design changes for the future boxes, but this thing works perfectly. Now let this be a reference to my customer. This is your remote plug. I'm furnishing you with a mic jack. Pin one is hot, pin two is your remote. And that's what runs your on off. That's if you ever wanted to use it. This guy's gonna be using this in a base station application, so I don't think so. Oh, and none. You wanted to know how I had the capacitance tube mounted? I got it propped up on a little piece of copper. This thing's beautiful. Let's hop over here and talk about the fans. My customer, he uh, requested that I put filters on this. So these are removable and cleanable. They're not permanently affixed like some of the other builders that are using them. Went out and got the little bit better higher dollar version for you. Just snap it on and you pop it off. Four 120 millimeter fans and an all blacked out case. It runs on a 110 outlet. Today we're going to use a 100 watt slug, 5,000 watt slug, and a 1,000 watt slug. I'm not going to mess around with the multipliers because so people don't get confused. Well, we'll put the tin on it. We're going to give it a run. So we got our tin back on it. And we're going to come over here and grab our 100 watt slug. Slap it in the hole. So that's our 5K and our 1000. Let's remove those out of the way. 100 watt slug, lock it in its hole. Okay, 100 watt slug. So now it's the bottom scale that you're reading. All right. 5 watt slug in reverse. The first piece of equipment we're going to use is our Galaxy 66. We're going to use the uh, Siltronics in reverse to demonstrate input tune. Now, the reason we didn't spend a whole lot of time on the inside of this box is because if you want to know how this works, buy one. I'll gladly build you one, then you can copy it. Because there's lots and lots of little tricks on the inside that I could sit here and spend three days bragging about. But then there's going to be another builder out there that says, oh, I can do that too. Well, yeah. If I can figure it out, anybody can figure it out. This is the first one of its kind. There's one other 8-pill out there running around that was built by one other guy. And we don't know what happened to it. We don't know. We've tried to reach that guy to see if it's still working or not. No mas. So, this is now the biggest 50-volt 8-pill that's currently being run. Um, there's a 12-pill on order, a 10-pill on order, a 4-pill on order, another 2-pill on order. 
and then my personal one that I'm building, which is a 24 pill. Yeah. Think about that. It's like 3CX3000 power output. Okay, so we're on 14 volts today. Get down here and kick on a power supply. Now we're going to demonstrate to you, we're going to put this down in standby mode. 100 watt slug, MPEP. Hello, audio. Hello, audio. So 20 watts of drive. Now we're going to go for our 1000 watt slug. 20 watts worth of drive, flip this into operate. Pedal. Kind of in the corner. 980 watts is what you get out of this box with 20 watts input drive. We go up here, take a look at Siltronic. That's keyed. All right. Moving on. We're disconnecting the 66. We're moving that coax out of the way. Now we're going to put the 100 watt slug back in. And we're going to put this down in standby. We shut the 66 off and turn on the 955. No excuses on the bolt. This is off, this is off. It's a 100 watt slug again. Hello, audio. About 80 watts of power. Turn down my talkback function. We're not all listening to me going audio, audio, audio. Hello, audio. 65 watts of power. Operate. Still in standby. It's a four, five hundred watt dead key. And just lay it over in the corner. Like I told you, I am not going to mess around with the multiplier. It's a five K slug. 65 watts worth of drive. Hello, audio. Hello, BBI. That's 2,400 watts worth of output. Remember, we're on a 110 outlet. Now, I don't know about all you. I get a little nervous after you get over about a 2x6 on a 110 outlet, and that's only 1,200 watts. Hello. Audio. BBI. 24, 2500 watts with 65 watts worth of drive. You guys aren't going to believe this. This is a two pill. My bench two pill has been in a hundred different videos. That's 3800 to 4000. run our dead key up a little bit, soak it in there about two grand, no problems. This thing is beautiful and perfect and it is a swing monster. Please note the bench lights aren't dimming. And I'll run off that one outlet. 4,000 watts off a of 110 outlet. Hello, BBI. Hello, BBI. Hello, BBI. Hi, James. Where I suggest you key this, there's 1,000, there's 2,000, and there's a 2,500 watt dead key. Pedal. Swinging forward, no issues whatsoever. Where I suggest you key this is about a thousand watts. And 
let her swing. My name is BBI, and I am the biggest mud duck in Idaho. There's no doubt about that, and there's absolutely zero shame to my mud ducking game. Come check us out, www.bbiamps.com. I appreciate everybody sending all this stuff up for me to work on, and I appreciate all the projects. I told everybody a year and a half ago I was going to take the radio forward, and I've just done it. There are better parts, there's better ways to build power, and I'm on the search for it, and I'm on a mission to bring it to all of you. I'll see you, bye. Just want to throw that in there for a reference because I know how everybody's going to get. But what about the harmonics, BBI? There aren't none. The box is set up clean. You guys have fun. I see.